messages, no means no. So we're going to do this four times. No means no. 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 But it's been an incredibly wonderful day. Again, I thank each and every one of you. I thank you for your good hearts and your good energy. I look forward to seeing you time and time again as we fill the streets with uh, larger numbers, greater numbers, as we continue this good fight to protect Mother Earth against uh, Kinder Morgan, Enbridge, Sight C, Lilu Island, Fish Farms. real crappy, ugly proposals that, that uh, governments bring forward. We have an election coming up in the spring. We need to dump Clark. So I'm going to end with this. I say dump, you say Clark. Dump. Morgan Pipeline Expansion. We will stop the Kinder Morgan Pipeline Expansion. Whatever it takes, no matter how long, we will stand united. We will stand strong. Whatever it takes, no matter Extraction. 
So I come here today to take the pledge and also send a message from the Tar Sands. Send a message to Trudeau that we still say no. The genesis of the pipeline comes from where our communities live who have been facing devastation for the past three decades. The intricate balance of Mother Earth can no longer support man's greed and, and also the inability to see what is truly at stake. The Trudeau government needs to see that the air, the water, the land, the forest, and the survival of all living things are incomparable to the short-term game of building another tar sands pipeline. In Alberta, we actually already have 400,000 kilometers of pipeline crisscrossing our homelands. And we know intimately the damage that is causing to our communities, the land, and the water. I myself have seen massive pipeline skills, spills in my home community and have experienced the aftermath of what it's like to see my family, my community, the land, and the water being poisoned. If Trudeau be approves this pipeline, he can no longer say that he wants to build a new relationship with Indigenous people. When our communities have repeatedly said no, he can no longer say he respects our communities if he does not listen to our voices. A just transition to renewable energy needs to happen now and needs to prioritize the communities that have been detrimentally impacted from fossil fuel extraction for far too long. And this is why last year in my home community, we installed one of the largest solar projects in Northern Alberta, and it powers our community health center. This is the change we need to see not more pipelines like the Kinder Morgan Pipeline or the Dakota Access in North Dakota. I just spent actually the last week with youth from Standing Rock who ran from their homeland to Washington, D.C. And I told them I would stand here today and say that we stand in solidarity with those brothers and sisters who are standing on the front lines in North Dakota and Standing Rock.